Hi, right, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be kind of short, but I'm going to be showing you my Streamlabs OBS settings because a lot of people have been asking how to get the quality like mine. But first you want to go to, well, in general, it doesn't really matter. Stream doesn't, like, this is where you can link. You need uh, Prime OBS to link two or more. And then here is where you want to pay attention. Uh, just set your output mode to simple. Some people use advanced, but I haven't messed around with that. And video bitrate, it can go to 4,500, or it can go up to 6,000 actually. But I just put it on 4,500. I haven't tested it out yet. If you have good internet, you can get 6,000. And put your audio bitrate to 160 as well. Leave this on software. And this should be very fast. Also, recording quality, make sure it's high quality, medium, file side. File size, my bad, holy. Uh, and then recording format, MP4. Then encoder, software. If we play buffer, it doesn't matter. Audio, make sure this is 48 kilohertz right here, this option. And then channel, stereo. Unless you use mono or these ones. But I just use stereo. Most people do. And you can have uh, up to three mics and two audio devices, but I only use one each. And anyways, uh, to get 1080p, you want to put output scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080. Make sure it's on this. And then to get 60 frames on your videos, on your videos and on your streams, make sure common FPS values is 60. Make sure this is common FPS values. Uh, hotkeys, you can mess around with these. I don't really mess around with them. <laughs> I don't use them at all. But anyways, video, make sure it's NV12. It looks the best. And color space 601. I haven't really tested out the other ones, but this one looks pretty good. And make sure this is partial. Then recording. I want to get zero delay on your streams, or not zero, but it'll be like five seconds or below. Make sure this is um, the duration is zero, and enable it obviously. And then retry delay. This is where most of the time, like when your stream stutters, it shouldn't delay it at all. So just set that to zero and make sure it's enabled, obviously. And network, select low latency mode. And those don't really matter. Scene collections, notifications, these don't really matter. You can mess around with these. All right, and I'll show you another method or it'll help you with less stream delay. Just make sure stream latency, when you're about to start your stream, it should look like this, by the way. Just make sure this is on ultra low latency. But anyways, Thanks for tuning into the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Give me the 1K, and I'll see you guys on stream.